Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Hello everybody and welcome back to Fail Project Games. Here we are with more of Batman the Telltale series. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, east side docks, warehouse 133. Nothing left to bury. Right. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Jet fuel can't melt steel beams. of metal is from the exploding canister, but I need to know what caused the explosion. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. This man's been badly burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this?
Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Face slashed, throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Alfred, you cheeky little shit. <laughs> Swear to God. Skyline Club. Shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. The snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. 
cops moved in to stop the theft, Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent, a cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. Oh, damn. And was put that down. Face, same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Follow the trail, dumbass. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. Make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Valcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing! You, you can't make me talk! I ain't telling you jack! You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break! Your bones will. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. All on the inside. Tell me the plan. Or I start swinging. If you're gonna hit me, hit me! <laughs> Tell me! That cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container! Someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. I start here. And keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! 
I told you everything I know! You're an animal! I was just here for a pickup! Should I see if he knows I swear! Anymore? You're bad! You're supposed to be. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here! I think I need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. Send a cleanup yeah. unit to the docks. Warehouse 133. He... he tried to kill me. Who? Who tried to kill you? The... that man. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. You're taking yeah. this too far, Bruce. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. Oh, I didn't. I hit him in the ribs. So he would internally. Your parents beat him? didn't raise you this way. I didn't beat him half to death, though. I just and neither hit did him I. In the rib. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. It won't be the Especially morgue. Especially now, during this. <laughs> preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Sometimes this job requires hard decisions. You're the right man to make them. In fact, I think you're the only one who can. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Alright guys, it's gonna be it where we bleh, that's gonna be where we end this one for now, and we will see you next time on Fail Project Games. Later. Bye.